Shallow water eels look strange, but mostly harmless. But at 2,000 meters deep, eels transform into nightmare creatures with transparent skulls and jaws that unhinge like alien predators. The deeper you go, the more extreme these adaptations become, and the evidence is written in their biology. Marine biologists studying deep-sea footage discovered something that changed how we understand eel evolution. The pressure, darkness, and food scarcity at extreme depths didn't just change eel behavior, it rewired their entire body structure into something barely recognizable as the same species. Start with the gulper eel at 3,000 meters deep, as deep as 10 Empire State buildings stacked vertically. This thing measures one meter long, but 80% of that length is just mouth. The jaw unhinges to create an opening wider than its entire body, swallowing prey three times its size whole. Unfortunately for deep sea fish, you can't escape something that can literally inhale you from two meters away. The stomach stretches like a balloon because food is so scarce at this depth that gulper eels can't afford to be picky about meal size. Their bodies are almost completely transparent, you can see the spine and organs through the skin. This isn't aesthetic. This is camouflage in an environment where any visible silhouette means death from predators above. Talk about evolution under pressure, but here's what makes it worse. The gulper eel's tiny eyes are almost useless for vision. Instead, it hunts using a bioluminescent lure on the tip of its tail that glows pink in the darkness. Prey mistakes the light for food, swims closer, and gets sucked into a mouth they never saw coming. You couldn't see the predator because at 3,000 meters, sunlight doesn't exist. Zero light penetration means vision becomes a liability. Maintaining eyes costs energy that deep sea creatures can't spare. The gulper eel evolved to hunt blind, using water pressure sensors along its body to detect movement from five meters away. Every vibration tells it exactly where prey is located. In case you needed more proof deep sea eels are nightmare fuel, meet the pelican eel at 4,000 meters. This creature makes the gulper eel look normal. The mouth opens at a 180 degree angle, completely flat, creating a net that scoops up everything in its path like a living trawler. The jaw has no bones, just flexible cartilage that bends in ways that shouldn't be possible. Then, a 2012 study from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute revealed something disturbing. Pelican eels can swallow prey so large that their stomachs rupture the skin, and they survive anyway. The tissue regenerates within 48 hours. You couldn't design a more efficient eating machine because the entire body exists just to consume and process food in an environment where the next meal might not come for months. Unfortunately for anything living at these depths, Pelican eels travel in loose groups of 10 to 15 individuals. When they detect prey, they form a living net, coordinating their mouth positions to eliminate escape routes. The prey can't dodge because every direction leads into another gaping mouth. Fossil evidence suggests this hunting strategy evolved 15 million years ago and hasn't changed because it works perfectly. But here's what makes deep sea eels uniquely terrifying compared to shallow water species. The pressure at 4,000 meters equals 400 times atmospheric pressure at sea level, equivalent to having a school bus sitting on every square inch of your body. Normal fish would be crushed instantly. Deep sea eels evolved bodies with almost no air spaces, no swim bladders, and tissue so flexible it compresses without damage. This means they can survive pressure changes that would kill any other creature. A 2018 study brought pelican eels to the surface for research and they survived in regular aquarium pressure for three days before scientists returned them to depth. No other deep sea organism can handle that pressure differential. You couldn't design a tougher animal if you tried. In case you needed more proof evolution creates nightmare creatures at extreme depths, consider the snipe eel at 5,000 meters. This species measures 1.5 meters long but only 2 centimeters wide thinner than your thumb. The entire body is just spine, muscle and digestive tract, nothing else. No fat reserves, no extra tissue, just the minimum biological components needed to hunt and reproduce. The jaws curve backward like a bird's beak, hence the name, and can't fully close. They're lined with 600 tiny hooked teeth pointing inward. Once prey touches the mouth, the teeth hook in like Velcro. The more the prey struggles, the deeper the teeth sink. Talk about a trap you can't escape. Unfortunately for small crustaceans, this jaw design means 100% capture rate once contact happens. 
Then marine biologists discovered something that explains why snipe eels look so alien. The males and females are completely different species level appearances. Males reach sexual maturity and immediately lose all their teeth, their jaws fuse shut and they stop eating entirely. They have one purpose, find a female and reproduce before starving to death. This happens in three weeks, maximum. You couldn't survive this reproductive strategy because mammalian biology requires constant food intake. But snipe eels evolved to front load all their energy storage in juvenile form, then burn everything during a suicidal mating sprint. The strategy works because deep sea food scarcity makes normal reproductive cycles impossible. Evolution chose guaranteed death over potential starvation. But here's what research reveals about the creepiest adaptation. At 6,000 meters, abyssal eels develop photophores, light-producing organs, across their entire body. Not just a single lure like the gulper eel. Hundreds of tiny lights arranged in patterns that mimic bioluminescent plankton swarms. Prey sees what looks like food everywhere, swims into the pattern, and realizes too late they're swimming into a mouth lined with needle teeth. The lights aren't just for hunting, they're for communication between eels across distances up to 100 meters in complete darkness. Each light pattern is a language, mating signals, territorial warnings, distress calls. Scientists using deep sea submersibles recorded 47 distinct light patterns from a single species. No modern language has that many unique expressions for basic survival needs. In case you needed more proof these creatures operate on entirely different biological rules, consider the fangtooth eel at 7,000 meters. Deeper than the Grand Canyon is tall. The teeth are so large they can't fit inside the mouth. Evolution solved this by creating grooves in the skull where the teeth slot in when the mouth closes. Otherwise, the eel would stab itself through the brain. Talk about extreme adaptation. The fangtooth has the largest teeth relative to body size of any fish in the ocean. Six centimeters long on a 15 centimeter body. That's like a human having 40 centimeter teeth. You couldn't chew, couldn't talk, couldn't function. But fangtooth eels don't chew. They grab prey, then swallow it whole while it's still struggling. Then a 2020 study from Japan's Marine Science Institute revealed something that changed how biologists understand deep sea survival. Fangtooth eels can survive without food for eight months. Their metabolism drops to 5% of normal function, entering a hibernation state while still swimming and maintaining awareness. The moment prey appears, metabolism spikes back to normal in under 30 seconds. This means deep sea eels are always hunting, even when they look inactive. You couldn't tell if an eel was in hibernation or active hunting mode because the body doesn't change appearance. The first sign of danger is when the jaw snaps forward at speeds faster than human reaction time. By the time prey sees movement, they're already caught. But here's what makes the deepest eels truly alien. At 8,000 meters, the Hadal zone, eels lose all pigmentation. They're ghost white, semi-transparent, with visible organs pulsing inside. The eyes shrink to pinpoints or disappear entirely. Some species evolved pressure-sensitive nerve endings where the eyes used to be, essentially seeing through touch. Hadal zone eels have lifespans exceeding 100 years, despite living in the most hostile environment on Earth. Growth rates are so slow that some individuals gain only one centimeter of length per decade. But slow growth means extreme efficiency. These eels require 95% less food than shallow water species of the same size. Evolution traded speed for endurance. In case you needed more proof deep-sea eels represent evolution's most extreme experiments, consider reproduction at 8,000 meters. Females release eggs only once every 10 years. Males can detect these eggs through chemical sensors from 5 kilometers away through pitch-black water under crushing pressure. The fertilization rate is 98%, despite the impossible odds of finding each other in an ocean trench. Talk about biological perfection under constraints. No modern shallow water species achieves this level of reproductive efficiency. The difference? 8,000 meters of pressure forced evolution to eliminate every inefficient trait. What survives at these depths is the absolute minimum viable organism with maximum capability. Every feature serves multiple purposes. Nothing is wasted. Then fossil evidence reveals these adaptations took 50 million years to develop. Ancient eel ancestors from shallow water slowly colonized deeper zones over millions of years, adapting incrementally to increasing pressure and decreasing food. The progression was slow enough that each generation only faced slightly worse conditions than their parents. 
but compounded over 50 million years, the change produced creatures that share almost no features with their shallow water ancestors. The deeper you go, the more extreme these changes become. At 1,000 meters, eels look strange. At 4,000 meters, they look alien. At 8,000 meters, they barely qualify as recognizable life forms. And yet they're highly successful. Deep sea eel populations remain stable while shallow water fish face extinction from overfishing and habitat destruction. That's why eels get creepier the deeper you go. It's not random mutation or evolutionary accident. It's precision engineering under the most extreme selection pressure Earth offers. Every bizarre feature, the transparent bodies, the unhinging jaws, the bioluminescent lures, the ghost white coloring, exists because anything less extreme dies. The ocean depths don't permit inefficiency. You either evolve into nightmare fuel or you go extinct, and eels chose nightmare fuel.